Hey, I'm Caleb Anderson, and welcome back to the Spirit Farm Group experience and our leadership lessons. In this quick video, just want to talk about serving and giving. Because your group will go as deep as you're willing to serve. Really, what we're talking about is putting truth into action. If we're just consuming knowledge and information and like to study the Bible and like to watch the videos and read some books and do some other things, but we're not applying, we're not incorporating it into our everyday life, we're not living it out, we're not looking for other people that we can bless, pass on, be generous toward individually and in our circle as a group, we're going to be missing it. We can only grow so far. We're going to hit a growth ceiling if we're unwilling to be generous outside of ourselves. If we're, if we're unwilling to let the flow of God's generosity go out from us into the lives of others. And where better to encourage each other to remember that, to cultivate generosity than in this group dynamic. It's just part of it. So Spirit Farm is going to consistently remind you, prompt you in our conversations, in our questions and those kinds of things to look outside yourself, to serve, yes, one another. What are the needs in the circle that need to be met? And what are the needs outside of our circle, in our neighborhood, in our community? I know in uh, my personal group, when the ladies in our group got involved and they started serving and starting a, a women's thing of sorts. I think it was like a, their own version of a mops group, mothers of preschoolers getting together. When they started that and catalyzed that, and then all of a sudden there's like 50 or 60 women involved, our group went further, went deeper, bonded together. Why? Because they're doing something. They're on mission together. They're engaged in something bigger than themselves and bigger than our little circle. Producer Paul behind the camera was just telling me that in his own group, they bonded not until after a couple of years of being together, they went down to Mexico and started building houses together, doing good, tangible things with their hands. And that's when their group, their relationships really were strengthened and all everything conversations, discussions, small group meetings, the dinners, everything went, went better, went deeper, and the group came together. Because we just need to remind ourselves that life isn't just about us. It's not just about taking in and receiving. It's about what we can give away. Financially, yeah, that's part of it. We, we want to be generous people. God has blessed us generously and we give away. And with our service, with our actions, where do we see a need? How can we meet a need? And how can this circle of people encourage each other to look outside of ourselves and meet some practical needs? So be thinking and find some other people in your group that are also advocates that are going to remind you, hey, let's get out and serve this Saturday. Or hey, let's look out on the calendar and find a time when we can go away and do some good. Or hey, let's have an honest conversation about generosity and where we can allocate some of our resources to further the good work that's happening in the world. Think about that, serving and giving. It's just a part of the lifeblood of any good thing that God is doing.